Is Palestine going to join BRICS? Well, as Russia is the chairman of this year's BRICS, Putin has invited Palestine to attend the 2024 BRICS summit. Until now, no country has been able to entirely side with Palestine in the ongoing war in Gaza. It's true that countries have been assisting for a truce, but that's all. It's because no country or alliance wants to help Palestine and risk losing Israel and with it the United States and its allies. How Putin, Xi Jinping, and BRICS have different plans. The invitation has been confirmed and Palestine will be attending the summit. But will Palestine be encouraged to join BRICS and powerful countries on its side? What are Putin and BRICS thinking about doing? In this video, let's find out. So, what has happened? The BRICS 2024 summit is scheduled to take place in Russia's Kazan region from October 22 to 24. This 16th summit will be the first for the expanded nine-member alliance, where discussions will focus on critical topics such as the economy, trade, and currencies. However, the most important area will be BRICS plans to enter the geopolitical world and expand its influence. For this purpose, Palestine has been formally invited to the summit. Not only that, but Russia is actively working to secure the nation's participation and memberships. Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas emphasized the deep, long-standing strategic relationship between Palestine and Russia, saying, We have certainly discussed bilateral relations because we enjoy a very long-standing strategic relationship with Russia. During an official visit to Moscow from August 12 to 14, President Abbas met with President Putin to discuss various matters including the situation in Gaza and the bilateral relations between Palestine and Russia. Perhaps it's where Putin and Abbas agreed that Palestine should attend the BRICS summit. After the meeting, Abbas shared his insights saying, We have discussed our vision of possible developments in the near future and what it can produce during these complicated times. The two leaders also explored opportunities within the BRICS cooperation forum. Interestingly, Russia plans to complete all the goals it had been thinking about because now it has the chairmanship. In 2024, Russia will host a total of over 250 events, with the Kazan summit in October being the most important one. In their discussions, Abbas and Putin reached a verbal agreement that Palestine would be invited to the forum in an outreach format. Palestinian leaders indicated that there will be specific gatherings dedicated solely to Palestine, providing member countries with the opportunity to share their views on developments in the region. Abbas said that everything would be as complete as possible, given the fact that these association member countries are all friendly with Palestine. So, can Palestine join BRICS? Well, Palestine might soon become a part of the BRICS alliance based on recent developments. For the first time, Palestine could have a seat at the table with the global powerhouses that are part of the BRICS. Therefore, for Palestine, joining BRICS isn't just about being on good terms with Russia. The alliance gives Palestine a voice and power to do what it wants. BRICS has generally supported Palestine's efforts towards statehood, particularly in recent summits. However, it's important to remember that Israel has strong connections with some BRICS members, especially China and India. For Palestine to join, it will require careful and strategic diplomacy. Palestine needs to engage more with all BRICS countries while ensuring that these efforts don't harm their ties with Israel. This diplomatic balancing act involves persuading BRICS members to take a firm stand on Palestinian rights on the global stage, a task that's easier said than done. But that's not the only factor you should have an eye on. Palestine's internal politics could also pose a significant hurdle. The Palestinian Authority is currently grappling with issues like divided leadership and a crisis of legitimacy. To successfully join BRICS, Palestine needs to present a united front that can effectively represent the entire nation. A unified leadership would greatly enhance Palestine's credibility and negotiating power internationally. However, the ongoing rift between the PA and Hamas complicates this goal. Additionally, Palestine must demonstrate that it has a stable governance structure capable of managing international relationships and economic partnerships. It's because BRICS members are unlikely to support a country that struggles with internal stability. However, one thing should be noted. BRICS won't demand all things from Palestine as it demands from other potential members.
That's because Brix knows the conditions Palestine and its people are in. Therefore, accepting Palestine in Brix won't be judged with skeptical minds, but with open arms. That's because the foreign ministers of BRICS countries have issued a joint statement supporting full membership of Palestine. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. But is BRICS the alliance Palestine needs? Well, put simply, BRICS brings more benefits to Palestine than what Palestine brings to BRICS, and that's understandable. BRICS is not planning to give all new memberships to only the power countries. Rather, it plans to help some rise on the international level and be aligned with an alliance, rather than being totally alone politically. BRICS could play a crucial role in bringing Palestinian statehood back to the forefront of international discussions, especially after years of stagnation caused by the US and Israel prioritizing the normalization of relations between Israel and Arab states over the peace process. Not only that, but all resolutions in favor of Palestine were vetoed. But now, if Palestine joins BRICS, it can get access to the Security Council through Russia and China, who have veto power. BRICS has long supported Palestine, but the current context gives that support new importance. The Johannesburg summit concluded with a declaration calling for direct negotiations between Israel and Palestine based on international law and the Arab Peace Initiative, to establish a sovereign and independent Palestinian state. This aligns with the Palestinian-Chinese Strategic Partnership signed in June. Just before the summit, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa reaffirmed his country's support for Palestinian liberation. The Palestinian leadership welcomed BRICS's call for direct negotiations with Israel, notably without U.S. involvement. This sends a clear message to the U.S. The era of American unilateralism is ending. In a move that reflects a renewed focus on the Arab Peace Initiative and BRICS's approach, Saudi Arabia appointed its first-ever non-resident ambassador to Palestine and Consul General in Jerusalem without consulting Israel. Not only that, but BRICS countries are subtly distancing themselves from the U.S.-driven Abraham Accords approach to Palestine. This doesn't mean they oppose the Accords, but they believe that failing to address the Palestinian issue could doom the two-state solution. Palestine's closer ties with BRICS come amid a deepening crisis within the Palestinian Authority. The decision to drop the U.S. as a mediator highlights deteriorating relations with Washington and Israel. It also reflects the Palestinian leadership's belief that the U.S. and Israel's governments aim to weaken or dismantle the PA and abandon the peace process in favor of annexing the occupied West Bank. In recent years, the U.S. has significantly cut aid to the PA, while Israel has continued to withhold tax revenues and impose other sanctions that have crippled the PA's ability to manage its budget, leading to delays in salary payments for public servants and reduced public services. This has eroded public support for the PA and increased dissatisfaction with the current situation. This situation has led to clashes between the young fighters and the PA, which, under the Oslo Accords, is tasked with conducting extensive security coordination with Israel, including preventing armed attacks. These challenges are pushing the PA to look to BRICS as a platform for negotiations that could help restore both its lost domestic support and international power. Palestine is also hoping to leverage the growing influence of Russia and China in the region to initiate a new, non-aligned peace process capitalizing on the intensifying competition between great powers. And for BRICS, reaching a solution for Palestine can be the turning point where the alliance becomes a political bloc in addition to being an economic one. But what is Palestine thinking? Well, it desperately wants to join BRICS, which is a powerful bloc and can impact the West's economies. Therefore, Palestine has already applied to join BRICS. Even though other members were formally added to the BRICS, the decision about Palestine was left for more discussion. But now, as Russia is the chairman of the BRICS, it has decided to bring up the issue. There are chances that at the summit, the decision to add Palestine will be formally made, and after that, Palestine will be announced as a full member. Therefore, this summit can be a turning point for Palestine. What do you think? Will Palestine join BRICS and get muscles against Israel?
Do you think Putin wants to go offensive and help Palestine as he has BRICS chairmanship? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on what if Palestine joins BRICS. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.